Hey, 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 it's Chef Evelyn and I am back with another video. And today I really want to chat a little bit about um, something that I see happen often and one of the reasons why I've been working on this special project. And I really want to help you answer the question if you've been in this place, which is should you just give up on your culinary business? Should you just push forward, you know, um, or should you pivot? And the reason why I say that is because sometimes when I encounter, you know, new clients or potential clients, they are just at their wit's end, right? You know, they've followed their passion for food and they're just tired, right? You know, maybe they're book busy and burnt out, right? And, or, you know, maybe they, um, you know, things aren't going exactly the way they want. They, you know, maybe they picked a model for their business that's requiring them to work more than what they desired. Maybe they're working with less than ideal clients. Like I said, maybe their calendar is booked up and they're tired and they're like, this is not really what I signed up for. And so I really want to kind of spend some time chatting about should you like let it go right and return to cooking just being a passion of yours or should you push forward right maybe there's just some things you don't know or is it that you might need to pivot into a different facet of being a culinary entrepreneur so first things first is that i want you to, i want you know, if this video is resonating with you, like if you're like, Evelyn, oh yes, I want to talk about this. Let me know in the comments below which phase you feel like you're in. Are you in the, I'm thinking about just giving this up and just going back to food being just a great hobby, maybe get paid a little bit on the side and going to do something else. Are you someone who's like, I I like what I'm doing. I just needed to give what it said it was going it was supposed to give, right? Like, if, are you in that season, or are you like, no, I don't, I don't think I, this is the right fit. I definitely don't want to go back to it just being a passion. I still definitely want it to be my business, but maybe I need to be doing something different. And let me explain to you what I mean. So. I have two really good friends, one who I went to culinary school with and one who I met on a job. And because both of them, you know, went down the culinary path, you know, working for different companies. They were both career changers, you know, working for different companies. We at one time, all three of us were working for the for the same company. And um, for whatever reason, you know, the, you know, the culinary industry in the way we were working was not conducive to their lifestyle. So one friend was married, had two sons, and it just wasn't a good fit for him and his family. And so as much as he loved it, that that structure, you know, the long hours, the low pay, the things like that just really wasn't a good fit. And, you know, he thought, you know, he dabbled in personal chefing for a while, a little bit of catering, and it just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. And so ultimately he made the decision to kind of let go of that, even though it was something he was really, really passionate about for the sake of his family. And my other friend, she and I went to culinary school together and she went down the path and she was like, I love what I'm doing, but I can't keep up with the lifestyle, right? Like it, it was so draining to her and um you know for what she was doing it was exhausting you know and we we were not in our 20s right we were career, we were all career changers we had all come from you know corporate backgrounds and so the idea of the traditional culinary model just wasn't working for us and so i use them a lot of time in case studies because i think about the fact that i i know how passionate they are about food i know how much they loved it but i also realized that they didn't really see an option so she ultimately ended up leaving um the kitchen as well and going back to her previous career right so she had invested all this time all this money all this energy in culinary school and different jobs same as he and ultimately it was like just a diversion because they ultimately had to let it go to go back to their previous career and what i realized is because when we look at the options that are available to us in the food service industry 
or even in culinary entrepreneurship, right? Like it's like, oh, this is not going to give me the kind of lifestyle that I want, right? The kind of free time that I want, the freedom. And so for me, I went down a path of of trying to figure out a way to make it work, right? And we all had, you know, different, you know, um, responsibilities and things like that. But what I what I eventually learned over time was that I had to create a new way of being in food right that would allow me to um have the kind of lifestyle that i wanted without having to go back to engineering right and it's something that i wish i would have figured out you know way back then that i would have been able to share with them you know just because they're having conversations with them over the years like they they loved what they were doing but it, it the lifestyle wasn't working right and so they chose to um give up right or 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 let it go because i don't want to make it seem like you know like gave up like they they made the best decision that they could with what was available to them and the needs that their families and different or responsibilities had at the time right and so for me what i realized is i fell into the category of i had to pivot so i learned very quickly that the the method that i was going down right i was doing all of and uh, all of the things I was catering. I was doing cakes and custom cakes. And um, I was doing personal chefing. I was doing meal prep. I was doing dinner parties. Like I was doing all of these things. And it really, while I was getting booked and clients and gaining in popularity at the time, I was like, this, this is not what I signed up for. Like, I was like, I'm working more than I, than I really wanted to. And so, um, and I was working nights, weekends and holidays. And I was like, yeah, I wasn't working this when I was in corporate. So I was like, this is not really what I want to do. Okay, so I knew that I had to pivot. I just didn't know to what, right? And so I realized, I was like, there's got to be a way to earn money outside of the kitchen, right? And, you know, I looked at a couple of different things and it took me some time to really find because at that time, the only trainings that were really available for culinary entrepreneurship were if you wanted to own a restaurant, if you wanted to own a catering company, or if you wanted to be a personal chef, right? And I think like, I think at the time food blogging was kind of up on the rise, but I was like, how long is that going to take to pop off, right? And so I was just like, okay, I've really got to get out here and figure out, you know, another way to be in food. And I spent years like studying all these different industries and how they were able to um, take their creative passions and express them in different forms and then figure out how to do that in the culinary business. So one of the things I want you to think about are, are you in the case of, you know what, I just need to return to it being a passion and a, a, a side hobby? Are you someone where you're like, you think you found your lane and you love what you do, but you just need to push forward with a little bit more business direction? Or you kind of like where I was, where we were like, okay, I know I don't want to go back to it just being a passion because I love it too much. You know, I really think the solution is I just need to pivot, right? So let me know in the comments below, where do you think you fall? But what I realized is more than likely for most people, had they just had more information about what was available to them, they could have made a different choice and pivoted and found the thing that would give them the kind of lifestyle they were looking for. So let me know in the comments below, um, you know, what if you've been thinking about pivoting, you know, what have you been considering, right? Um, what questions do you have about pivoting? Because I pivoted several times until I found the right thing. And, you know, the project that I've been working on is really to help you if you're in a place where you're like, Evelyn, I need to pivot or I need to just push forward, but I just need some direction. I really, really want to be able to support you in that way and i also want to say this that if you have found yourself in a place where you're like you know what the best decision for me is for it to return to being a passion that doesn't make you a quitter that doesn't you know that make, doesn't like make you less than or, or worse than it just means that is the best decision for your life and your circumstances right now so leave your questions below like i said if you're watching this on youtube make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications. If you're watching this on Instagram, go to my page and make sure you turn on the notifications so that you will be uh, you will get a notification when I up upload the next episode in this series. So I'm excited to hear your thoughts, your questions. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video. Peace.